stunned in the courtroom. What was his response? He wasn't stunned. I mean, I think he fully expected this. This case was impossible uh, to win. I think he was convicted uh, before he even came to America. The press, international press, American press, completely buried him uh, before the trial, through the trial. Some, uh, some uh, evidence came in that was not permitted into the trial, came out during jury deliberations. Like you know, all sorts of uh, horrible things about him there were not true. Um, we were not permitted to fully cross-examine the witnesses. So this, this was a case that our hands were tied behind our backs before we even got in. So he fully expected this. There were 56 witnesses against him. It's a big case. That sounds... I mean, I'm, not, I'm not saying that this was an easy case. Uh, the case was uh, literally an avalanche of evidence. And, and I have not, if you can believe, I haven't lost the case in 11 years. Uh, before this one. So th this one, we never had a chance. So what did he say to you after the verdict? He, he, he tried to keep our spirits up, if you can believe. I was sad because it's, it's hard to see anyone in a cage <clears throat> knowing that he's going to face the rest of his life there. You know, no matter what he's accused of, no matter what he's convicted of, but he was very strong. He was supportive. He was looking forward to the appeal. He thanked us. He was appreciative. And as a defense lawyer, that's what you want. You don't want somebody saying, you screwed up. I could have won if you hadn't done this. What did he like say that. to keep your spirits up? He said, just keep fighting. He says, I'm not giving up. You don't give up. You know, he, prison has not contained him in the past. In Mexico. Okay. He Mexico's has... a different kind. I'm not sure if you're aware. Mexico, uh, the prisons, the government, the judicial process, it's a little crooked. But you're saying this time he will be. Where do you think he's going to go to prison? Go to the Supermax, I'm sure, in Colorado. No one's ever escaped there. It's absolutely impossible. It's not even an issue. So what grounds are you appealing on? Well, one, we think the extradition process was unfair. We don't think he should have been brought over here. That's A. And secondly, in the trial, we were vastly restricted on cross-examining many of the witnesses. I'll give you an example. One witness came in, and he believed that the Earth was going to be destroyed in an apocalypse. He believed in 15-foot aliens that were roaming the Earth looking for gold. And these are the things that I felt that we should have been able to cross-examine on, because this suggested that perhaps he was insane wasn't allowed to. Some of the things that the juror, jurors heard, some of the evidence, were about private jets um, filled with cash, bodies burned in bonfires, evidence of Mr. Guzman <sighs> drugging and raping they young did not. girls. The jury, jury did not Never hear that. mind. The jury did not hear that. This, False. Fake news. These, this is what was, came out in trial. False. They Fake never news. heard about all of this they stuff. They heard about some of it. They did not hear about him raping any girls. It's absolutely fake news. Did they hear about the heroin production of the Sinaloa cartel? Of course, they killed the so was. many Americans. They didn't, many Americans? I, yes. I don't think the jury heard. Perhaps maybe one American was killed. This I'm is talking what, about this, heroin. This case, oh, in terms of the impact yes, of heroin, of, of course. course. Look, it's horrible. This is look. The problem with America is getting rid of Chapo. It has not changed anything. The drug flow hasn't changed. The violence in Mexico hasn't changed. What we need to figure out is why are Americans so hell-bent on doing illegal drugs? That's it. The need for yeah. the drugs is what causes the cartels to I, I think the production of the drugs doesn't help either, but I guess my point is, is this a man who deserves to be free? Does he deserve to be free? I'll tell you what he deserves. He deserves, because this is America, he deserves a fair trial. That's it. You know, does he deserve to be free? I'm not God. I'm not the judge. I'm here to simply provide this guy with his constitutional rights. And that's what I do. No matter who it is, no matter how much everybody hates him, no matter how much the media hates him, uh, the prosecutors hate him, the judge, I'm here to fight for Agreed. his life. Everyone, everyone is entitled to a defense attorney. Absolutely. Should you have put him on the stand? I don't think so. I mean, that was a, a tough decision. We went back and forth on it. But I, I felt that there was any chance we had to win the case or get a hung jury would have been destroyed had he testified. Keep in mind that this was a guy that was in isolation for two years. He was bleary-eyed the entire trial. He was not in the right frame of mind, I believe, to possibly be able to help himself with testifying. What was up with